Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. As you can see on this beautiful loading screen in front of you and me, Rule Breakers is confirmed. It is going to be Friday. Another promo, right? We figured that this was going to be just kind of promos, promos stacked on top of each other back to back to back. And that's what we're getting. Rule Breakers is confirmed to start tomorrow with this car design that I think looks unbelievable i think that car design looks so sick i love like the shattering like i don't even know 3d it kind of looks like a foot freeze card in a way but also like a ones to watch kind of color but it, it's just its own awesome image so i love that loading screen and i'm excited for tomorrow right i'm excited for the cards that could come out because what they're going to be releasing tomorrow is going to be cards that get very interesting upgrades, right? That is what the Rule Breakers promo is all about. We're going to look at some of the cards that have come out in previous years. Last year was the only year we've had Rule Breakers. Years before that, it was always Ultimate Scream, right? You guys remember that this used to be the time for the Scream promo to be dropping on this game and they've kind of replaced it with the rule breakers but it still kind of has a similar aspect to it where they upgrade some really crazy stats on some of these cards uh, and we'll take a look at that in today's video also what to expect with rivals rewards because we have got rivals rewards coming very soon and i do think that since we've had some prices dip off in the later hours of tonight into Thursday morning with Rivals Rewards on the horizon, I do think there's a possibility for some of these cards to kind of come back. And I do think we'll see some market rises this morning. Even we saw it last week, two weeks ago, some specific areas of the market, I do think we'll see some rises on. I wanna talk about that and all the market movements that we saw yesterday on Wednesday. So let's get into it and look at some rule breakers hype, right? Again, I'm just scrolling through Twitter and looking through some of these screenshots of this loading screen. Once again, there's really no hints on this loading screen right here. We are going to be probably getting some hints, I would imagine, um, in the next basically today's loading screen. I bet they would update it and either put out some hints or show us uh, like three players on the screen that we would expect to see as a part of the promo. Uh, this year. That's what I would expect today on Thursday. But I mean, some of the concept cards that people are already making with this card design, I mean, Griezmann with a big time pace boost. That That's the cool thing about the Rule Breakers promo is that it's really random, right? There's a Promez concept design. That looks pretty sick. Uh, a Holland, right? Holland being injured. This could be a perfect promo where EA could fit Holland in. He doesn't have a special card yet. No informs. This could be a perfect promo where uh, Holland gets a card with his injury, so probably no performance-based upgrades coming soon. Hendo with a big pace boost on that item, right? There's just there's just tons of potential as we look through some of these predictions at these cards. There's another Holland, a Ruben Diaz, Trent Alexander-Arnold, Cassie, uh, Nuno Mens, right? That would be would that would be insane. Zaniolo. I mean, the Rule Breakers promo. There's really no like hard and fast rule of what kind of cards are going to get in, right? We just ended a Champions League promo where it's all Champions League, Europa League, and Conference League, so you know kind of what cards are going to get in from what teams because they always represent some of the top teams. But with Rule Breakers, it's random, right? And they always put some really really good items in here. Again, last year. They made some crazy upgrades. Specifically, I remember this Harry Kane card. You guys remember this one, right? Rule Breakers team number one, Harry Kane. They boosted his agility. Look, take a look at these upgrades, right? 91 pace and 85 dribbling. They gave him plus 23 pace and plus four dribbling, but he had plus 12 agility and plus nine balance off of his gold card. So a massive dribbling boost, especially to the agility and the balance of his card, which made, made this Harry Kane item feel incredibly incredibly better in game a 23 pace boost right how nuts is that so it's just crazy they did downgrade the shooting a little bit too that was some of the things that they did with these cards was they just they gave these items stats in rule breakers that they maybe didn't have uh before let's take a, a look at marcus urente right marcus urente was cracked last year he's cracked this year as well what kind of upgrade did his card get he got a dribbling downgrade, but they made him more of a defensive bin instead of a box to box, right? They gave him a nice pace boost, defensive boost, right? Plus eight defense, but minus seven dribbling. So they made him more of a defensive card. He was still cracked, right? So that is why these cards are very interesting because we're going to see items that get released that will have very, very interesting boosts 
like maybe some downgrades on some stats, but the upgrades that they get in other stat categories are gonna make them incredible. So that's why a person like Holland would work really, really well in a promo like this. You give this man a really big pace boost. Maybe you even downgrade his shooting a little bit, but you up his dribbling, up his agility balance or something like that to make him more agile on the ball in game. That would be crazy, right? That's why this promo is a fan favorite, and I think it's one of the it's one of the favorite promos of the fall, right? Ultimate Scream was really good back in the day. It started to die off a little bit. I think FIFA 19 was like the last solid Ultimate Scream that we had. These cards were great. They were just like confusing to keep up with the stat boost all the time. So the way that I would expect to see it this year is I would expect to see it done just like last year in FIFA 21, where they would pick some random cards and give them very interesting boost. And that, ideally, is gonna put cards into the game that we need right now. In my opinion, what we need are cards that are gonna sit in that you know 200K to a million coin barrier that are gonna serve as cards that people would want to go out and use uh, to bridge the gap between Mbappe and like gold, you know, gold, gold Mane, gold Sun, who are like 250,000 coins on this game, 260 at the, uh, between the two around there. And then you have a huge gap. Again, that's what we're fighting this year so far is so many golds are so cheap, but that elite tier of cards, your Mbappe, so expensive, right? Your elite tier icons, so expensive in this game compared to, re to where the rest of the market is. And these brand new promo cards kind of fit right there in that middle range. And a lot of people want to go out and use them. So that's what I'm excited about with this promo is to see these items added and to see what cards EA Sports upgrade out of this as well now also last year as a part of rule breakers we did have a couple decent sbcs we had a couple of them that were very overpriced and i'm pretty sure it doesn't always it doesn't show them here in in this uh squad right here but again some more players that were released pogba right so pogba got last year he got a pace downgrade but a defense upgrade right kind of like the urente they downgraded his passing, not his pace, his passing downgrade. So he got minus nine passing, but he got plus 16 defense, right? So a more defensive CDM Pogba. Again, that's what makes this promo super duper interesting. Uh, let's see, Jimenez. I think they gave Jimenez a really big pace boost last year. Yeah, 15 pace. Uh, they, you know, he gave he got a nice passing boost as well. They just took his defense down from 86 to 83, but they gave him plus 15 pace. And that is why this promo again is so cool and so fun. I'm excited to see what cards we do get on Friday because it's just going to be flat out fun. As long as they upgrade good items with good links that people want to use in this game that are still pretty meta and popular, right? We saw an okay player selection, in my opinion, uh, from this last Road to the Knockout promo. And if they continue that with this promo in Rule Breakers, I think it could be pretty special. So I'm excited for Rule Breakers, right? I am excited now. Again, I would expect it to be, just like last year, a team of 11 cards. And since they seem to be doing these little mini releases on the weekends as well, just like we had Immobile and we had Lodi and we had the first mini release as a part of Team 1 of Road to the Knockouts with Robertson, I would expect to see mini releases again for this Rule Breakers promo. Now, is Rule Breakers going to be one week is it going to be two? That's going to be a big question. You know, so far this year, we've only known the two week promo, right? Once to watch two and a half, one and a half weeks, basically, right? A full week and then a five day promo ending on Wednesday. Same thing with Road to the Knockouts. I think that's how it's going to be for the ultimate scream as well. But the dates right now kind of get a little bit interesting because, of course, as we get into October, you know, two weeks from when this promo would start on the 29th on Friday, tomorrow, we would go from we go to November 5th, then that would take us to November 12th, and then we kind of have like a weird gap week where what would they do there before Black Friday? That is what I'm really curious about. So I feel like there's going to have to be a promo in here in the next month that is going to be a one-week promo. I'm not sure when they're going to do that, when it's going to be, uh, but also this promo is starting later this year, right? Rule Breakers, aka a screen promo around Halloween, usually starts uh, like a week before Halloween and then kind of goes through the weekend in the meat and in the heart of the promo. But this year, of course, we are starting this on Halloween weekend. So I'm really curious to see how EA goes around that and how long this promo is. But at least we know for a fact that we are getting one solid week of these Rule Breakers cards. And again, looking at some of those concept cards, it, there is reason to get excited for tomorrow. There is reason to get excited. People are gonna be saving packs. 
Um, and we're going to talk about that a little bit more today with the rewards and with, with the market and what's going on. I do expect some people to be saving some packs. A new marquee matchups will be coming out today on Thursday. People are going to be saving those as well. And that's going to kind of give us some pack supply for day one of the Friday promo that will be coming out tomorrow. So that's rule breakers, right? That's kind of a breakdown. Nothing crazy, right? Except that we're going to be getting some cool special cards. I mean... They didn't let us down with the Rule Breakers last year, so I don't imagine that they would let us down this year. I'm having, I'm having a little bit of faith in EA, but I think it's warranted, right? Rule Breakers last year was good. Just put out some good SBCs, because if you guys remember, I, I think it was like, there was one uh, Rule Breakers SBC last year that was just crazy overpriced, and it was terrible value, but there were a couple of good other ones. Uh, I don't remember what the SBCs were, but... Hopefully this year they put out some good value SBCs as well. I, I would imagine that they will or that SBCs would be well received because you have cards like all SBCs this year seem to be cheaper and they are because the whole entire market is cheaper. Like Politano at 50K seems really doable for a lot of people um, because that's a pretty solid card for 50K, right? Bernardo Silva, 115,000 coins. Seems like a good card, right? Now those had upgrade potential and rule breakers won't, but that is, you know, it seems like this year the, the SBCs have been mostly better value there's definitely been some not good value ones but i'm sure we'll have objectives and sbcs as a part of rule breakers as well so that is what i'm expecting for tomorrow we'll talk about it a little bit more later on in a video tomorrow but let's talk about what happened on the market and what's going to happen like today on a wednesday because we had our usual wednesday market drop off if you will right that is something that we have seen in the past basically three weeks on this game on Wednesday, you see the market drop off, and that is exactly what happened. Now, of course, I think this actually is not updating correctly. Uh, the index 100 on Footbin is not updating correctly at the moment because this is the same index 100. Uh, as you can tell, it's updated. It's it's not even updated like an hour past 6 p.m. So something's going on with the indexes right now. Uh, but this is the market market drop off that we started to see yesterday on Wednesday. This is like Wednesday at 6 p.m. right here, and you see this market drop off, and there were a lot of prices that started to drop on this game yesterday, and they're kind of continually, continually dropping, right? This is, I'm talking gold cards. I'm talking gold cards in packs as people sell before rewards, before the supply, and before the weekend when they, of course, expect them to go a lot cheaper, and that's where a lot of gold cards are right now. They are down. Take a look at Raphael Varane. Now, a couple of these cards are impacted because of informs that came out yesterday with Team of the Week 6. Varane was 270 Wednesday morning. He went all the way down to 250 flat. He, there was even a couple sub 250 on Snipe. Rebounded back to around 270. Right now, he's about 258. So slowly kind of tailing off into the evening. A couple other cards that are down at the moment. Paul Pugba, 62K. 62,000 coins for a guy that yesterday started the day at 67,000 coins, went down to 62, rebounded a bit at 64, and is now back down. I do expect to see some of the meta market rebound today. Again, I would keep an eye out for Premier League players and maybe some links to this team of the week because there, there are some decent cards in this team of the week this week. And these cards moved like crazy today. We were expecting big time supply at 6 p.m. content drop, and that is exactly what happened? This Salah was actually down under 800,000 coins. He's rebounded back up now due to rarity. I would sell this card 100% because he is definitely going down again during this weekend. Uba McConnell was down at like 65K. He's up to 75. Uh, the first hour, Atal was 17, 18,000 coins. You could have grabbed them on Snipe. So there were definitely some trades you could have made yesterday with these cards. Whether you bought a couple of them like Alaba and Atal in the first 10 to 15 minutes, they rebounded shortly after that. Or... You know, a lot of people tried to flip Uba Meccano. It didn't work. It pushed his price down even lower. And he was down at like 65K. Now he's up at 75. So I would keep an eye on these cards at rewards because uh, I still think that Alaba, Uba Meccano, um, yes, of course, Salah, but even Atal, some of these cards, if they do drop at rewards, I do think you would see a rise in them. And I think this market rise that I'm speaking of after rewards today is going to be a short, quick one, right? We see this normally on Thursdays now, a nice little market rise from about rewards time till about an hour or two hours before we get to the content drop on Thursday today. So it's going to be kind of just, you know, like a five to six hour window where you have rewards, stuff will go up, people will play their qualifier games, maybe play more rivals, and then you'll see a little bit drop off again, of course, with the marquee matchup supply that is going to be coming on to 
this game that will supply stuff that is in packs again. So, and that's what we talked about in yesterday's double upload video, right? Trading with this team of the week with chemistry styles around marquee matchups, right? So this week is probably not going to be as good as last week. Uh, but guys like Upamecano, Alaba, um, you know, a tall with, with shadows, right? For those items with shadows would be pretty good. There's not really a midfielder in this team that holds a lot of price. So it may not be that good to trade with in terms of like last week you had Ndombele and you had Firmino. You maybe, maybe Declan Rice with a shadow would sell for a little bit extra uh, on the market or position change. You could keep an eye out for that. Maybe Smith Rowe with a Hunter or, or, you know, maybe Gunter with a shadow as well. So watch out for that chemistry or for that chemistry style or position change method to maybe work uh, pretty good today as it was incredible last week like we talked about in that video yesterday. But the other, the other story on the market yesterday was this Renan Lodi. The Lodi price range update actually happens. And man, if you were on the Twitch stream yesterday, I was pretty negative on this card. And this one, to be honest with you, I am a little bit surprised. I understand where this demand is coming from, but I just could not believe the amount of supply that there was of this card on the market. When we were looking on the stream yesterday, when the price range was updated, Renan Lodi had one hundred and eighty three pages yes i searched all the way to the end hundred and eighty three pages that's like me searching this card with no price uh no price filter right here bam press search and go all the way to the end now it's glitched right now don't believe this he has way more than four or five pages of right now on the market but there were 183 pages when he got his price range update in my opinion this card it does have the potential to get upgraded, but the reason why he rose up from 100K is purely just because of the hype, right? And if you made this trade yesterday, and if you bought these at 100,000 coins and you sold at like 130, 140, where he has reached his peak tonight, GG's, right? I think this, I really wish I would have gotten in on the Lodis, right? A little bit of a missed call for me here, but I just think that this card is living in its hype right now. And I just, I don't know how long the hype lasts. We have Marquinhos, who's very hype. We have Fred, of course, without those two cards released in RTTK. I feel like this guy's hype would be a little bit less. Same with Llorente being insane with this game. Vinicius being insane. This guy has so many links. And that's why I feel like I missed the call and I feel bummed, right? I should have seen this coming. But man, when I saw that supply yesterday, I thought it, I thought it was over. I thought it was going to like 80, 90,000 coins. But in fact, he did rise up. So I'm not saying this card is done. I'm not saying this card is going to continue to rise. There's a lot of people that have invested in this. If you bought him extinct at 100K, you're feeling like a W, right? You're getting out at 130, 140K. And that's awesome, right? And that is, that is a GG. And I think this card will maintain its value with the links that it has right now. And with the demand that it has, it looks like it's going to maintain its value uh, for at least a little while. So if you see drop-offs on this card this weekend, the only thing that's really going to hurt that Renan Lodi in price and make him go like under 100K would be them releasing another like either an insane Brazilian left back or another La Liga left back um, with just as good like a Furlan Mendy, I feel like special card might be the only thing that would make this Renan Lodi drop a decent amount. And even then, he would still probably bounce back because it's a live item and because it has those Brazil links uh, that it has. So I think that card is really, really hyped up right now. Uh, will it drop off eventually? Yes. But for right now, it is the craze. So uh, that was that on the market yesterday. But again, I would still watch out for these RTTK Team 2 cards. And we're going to talk about this even as we head into the weekend a little bit. Uh, a lot of these cards are up. They are up and they're up big. Uh, Fred, yesterday, he went from 350,000 coins during the day. What is it? Is it Fred? Yeah, 340, 330. He spiked up to 390. 390, when the loading screen dropped, he got panic sold back down in the 360 range. And now he's kind of chilling at 370. Uh, but a lot of these RTTK2 cards have gone up a lot out of packs. Taps was up like 10K from where his lowest was. Jesus Navas is up over 20,000 coins. Royce was under 400. Werner was 800K. He's now almost a mil. So these cards, I understand that they're live and I understand why their prices are going up. But again, all it takes is one card to be released this weekend. And I'm not trying to strike fear to you if you have some of these invested. All it takes is one card this weekend to be released as a part of Rule Breakers. Let's say we get another uh, another French right back as a part of the team or something, or a Bundesliga right back like an Mbabu, which actually an Mbabu would be a great shout for a card that could get into to rule breakers uh, because they kind of tend to put in some of those like FIFA favorite items. If you've looked at the teams from past years, rule breakers and ultimate scream. 
they tend to put in a few of those favorite players. But, you know, that would be something like a, basically a substitution for that card. Same league, same position, same nation. That would be something I would expect to drop a price of one of these RTDK cards in the game. Uh, and of course, with Black Friday on the horizon, we'll talk about that even in the next couple of weeks. But again, what we have to gear ourselves up for is just another promo weekend on this game where there's going to be a lot of supply. Now, that supply is going to start today a little bit as well. Rivals rewards, not that good. And I still feel like people are choosing more of the untradeable rewards. And even the last time we had a promo Friday, so basically two weeks ago, at the end of Ones to Watch, heading into RTTK, there was a little market rise on Thursday. It happened last week as well. Some people are going to save their rivals rewards today. Some people are going to be saving every single pack from yesterday on out because they're going to save it for the promo on Friday, which I would honestly do if I were you. And uh, so that might mean a little bit less, you could say, coins getting onto the market through rewards today. But a lot of people are still going to open their rewards because they're sitting there in front of them and they're going to go out and upgrade some teams today. So that's why if you're looking at a little bit of a market rise, after rewards today into 6 p.m. time frame, I'd be looking at Premier League, links to that Bernardo Silva, uh, links to some of the brand new team elite cards like Upa Meccano and stuff like that. I know the red picks aren't out yet, but I mean, if you look at Upa Meccano, and this is what's so interesting about this card, is that um, this is a French center back, right? And French center backs always make waves on this game. So 73K right now for Upa, he was down at 65 at one point. This is, for for me, I think a lot of people have maybe used Kempembe for the past couple of weeks, and they want to spice it up, right? And if they run a French back line, or they change one or two players in their team, they can fit this Oop Meccano in, who I've used his gold card, and with that 92 sprint speed, I love this guy in game. He's so, so good, um, and I really love his card. So I, I think that people are going to go out and try him, although I would say that based off of work rates, and just the way the card looks in general, the high medium work rates might put some people off and they might like uh, Kempembe better. But I mean, it's a French center back and people are going to give this a shot today. So just keep an eye on these after rewards, albeit they did get very supplied. They did get very supplied yesterday um, and the market's glitching out right now. It's not showing me all the exact listings because I know there's more than two pages. Uh, here we go. I know there was more than one page of Open Meccano's up uh, 5K from 75 to 80. So as you can see, there's like, looks like 10, maybe 11 pages. Yeah, 11 pages. So these cards were very supplied yesterday from the Team of the Week packs as we expected. Um, you know, not quite like Team, actually pretty similar to Team of the Week 4. It's just that we're hoping that there's no like no loss glitch or some crazy thing happening this weekend that would make uh, Team of the Week 6 end up like another Team of the Week 4 just based off of the fact that they had way too many Team of the Week packs open than what were should have been on the market. So that's the video for today, boys, right? Rule Breakers is confirmed. Again, I freaking love this card design. I'm so excited to see how these cards look when they come out on Friday. I think it's going to be massive. Now, we're going to be worried about the supplies for stuff in packs. So, again, quick flips today. But if you want to buy a team, I think you're waiting until Friday because you're going to see more packs dropped. Again, we had the first 50Ks of the year dropped last week. And we saw what that did to the market. So also a quick side note, I am going to be heading out on a quick little trip with the family. Uh, so the, if you see a video recorded early tomorrow, that is why. And it also will have a couple of videos pre-recorded for the next like basically day and a half or two days. I will be back on Saturday night or Sunday morning for you guys per usual. There will be videos scheduled during the meantime, but... I just wanted to share that to the real ones that make it to the end of these videos uh, just so that you were aware. And I'll be still active on Twitter and stuff and all that good stuff. But a little bit of a quick trip, taking a breather. Good vibes, right? All right, boys, that's the video for today. If you did enjoy, smash a thumbs up, comment down below if you have any questions, and subscribe if you're new. It has been Nate Ford Accountant. I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.